Noise. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, I anticipated something. Yeah. Please. So anyway, that's it. Was uh, that we're asking the SCRA members to uh, write to the senators about, uh, you know, to put to to cur to put on to the new FAA requirements that they check out the community and what the noise is and do their um, uh, environmental impact report. And that's basically yeah, what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you'd like me to, any of you'd like me to send that to you, I'm welcome to. If you're not members of the yeah. SCRA, okay, I'll give you. I have it. I'll be glad to forward it. Oh, would you like. do that? Sure. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. And then you okay. can all write your letter. It's uh, the hearing's the end of this month, so and it's, uh, there's a sample letter there. You just have to email it out. Okay. Oh, we would be not a problem disseminating that. Yeah. No, there's problem. You can always send those anywhere. No problem. All right. Um, but what I did want to talk about yes, is what I talked ahead. to Tony, uh, to whoever he is, <laughs> about Tony about the um, fairway project. That last time I drove by, it looks like it's done. I don't know if you've been by there, John. I was by there Saturday it is. afternoon. It was by Sunday. Yeah. 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 It looks like it's done. It yeah. is. The, 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 all the by concrete and is done, yeah. and, it's, and it looks fine. Um, the uh, and what I told Tony is, and you may already know this, John. The um, uh, there's enough money left over to do the parkway, and uh, the uh, so the car is going to be getting a hold of you about. I got the an email. From okay, you. yeah, and uh, so I, the bid's going to have to decide what they want to do on that parkway. Um, I don't know if they want to do it in conjunction with SCBA or if they just want to do it. I don't know. So whatever you want to. Don't have, have an answer here. Whatever you want to <laughs> But there's money enough to do it. Uh, this money is uh, the uh, money from the um, design review board from the PRB. It's the PRB who gave the money initially to do the sidewalk. Yeah, and, and this there's is left over funds. Yeah. Yeah. And just between you, me, and the board, um, it looks like once that's done, there may be money to left to left over to do in front of Sage and down that area Wait, too. Where, where are the where are you doing sidewalk? I just heard sidewalks. Yeah. I started listening. No, not your not your they're, they're done almost. Yeah, they're in done. front. You see what's in front of ours? Yeah. You asked for them to be repaired. This wasn't money allocated for repairs. This what's is, it for? This, is this new, was to new. become ADA compliant. At new yeah. sidewalks. Yeah. So there may be enough money. But there's to do repair it. money somewhere. Isn't it? There's somewhere else. Since they have so much, you mean from the city? Maybe they can repair my parking lot they broke. I thought there was repair money. This is a whole different subject. I'm sorry. We're on a new track here. Wait, 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 for public uh, comment. Your point, points well taken, but let's let's finish. It, okay. Well, actually, maybe maybe yeah, your point is not. Was that part of the sidewalk installation? Well, get a hold of Carl and tell him. Let's go to call. Who you? Not for you. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, and sorry, they may they may be able to do go in front of Sage if there's enough money after the parkway then and get the, all of that horrible stuff um, east I'm of Colfax. Familiar. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. along Ventura, east of yes. Colfax and right. do that. The problem with that area is that money, that yes. sidewalk yes. area is not part of the 
of the Los Angeles. They don't own that. The owner of the property owns it, so they don't have a right of way there. So they have to convince them to let them do it. So that's why that. And that's not the bid. Either. It's not the bid area. No, it's anymore. not. It's not bid business. But it's we want the money for the bid. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that money is going to go into the bid down there. But the uh, the other thing on the fairway is I don't know. Taking a look at it, all of you. Um, you gave SCBA six thousand dollars for the uh, for a sign to go up there. I cannot see, in my imagination, how a sign is going to work there. So, if anybody has any ideas, who asked for the money? Who? The, the, oh, the, well, Lorena originally yeah. asked for the money from SCB from the bid, and they gave it to SCBA. Because you guys wanted the money. Yes. yes yeah. Or a unification, a yeah. unification came to the bid, mm -hmm. requesting a contribution for the fairway. Yeah project and if memory serves yes. stop me mm -hmm. if i'm wrong if memory serves yes we did allocate six thousand dollars to the project uh the project proviso, being anything no. no the proviso being that the project being something that was a, a, a something that was symbolic of welcome to and the bid be included in that welcome to oh, okay yeah. so if anybody has the way it sits there the i think we should do more <laughs> Electronic. Wait, wait, wait for a second. Uh, just everything. You're recording everything here? Yeah, I don't think he's allowed he's to. He's allowed to. He can he video the meeting if he wants to. He can. Okay. Uh, the, the concrete um, retaining wall they put up is not high enough to put one on there. There's going to be cars parked in front because right. it, there's meters. Um, the hill is on a, you know, up like that. So. If anybody can figure out how, what kind of sign or how a sign could go on there, let us know. Otherwise, you know, I mean, SCBA can return the money if that's a problem. Beth, didn't um, we didn't we look at the possibility of having some kind of a signage above or on top of the retaining wall? That could be a possibility. Monument. Monument. So, so, I, and I don't know what I mean by sign, frankly. And yeah. I don't mean to angle it, but something above the retaining wall, which would be above the car parked car height mm -hmm. and I don't visible. know. That would be a possibility. I mean, it's uh, it would be up to this board what they would want to do. There Shall I attend that? Or the would, would, would you please, because I'd yeah. like to, what I'd like to do is to, is to have a, maybe a small subcommittee that would be with your, that, with your yeah. help, please, mm -hmm. to go over and take a, a eyeball it, if you will, with uh, who, who have you chosen? You, you have not chosen. Have I know you've interviewed a couple of architects. We, yes, and actually there's one, uh, Wild Floor, I think. He yeah. is local, Yeah. and he seemed to have the best Was ideas. that the one that Epstein liked? Yeah. Worked with? Okay. Yeah, and he, he had the best ideas. He's here in Studio City, and uh, he would give it to us for a good price. I'm sure just planting it, but that has nothing to do with the site. Perhaps I could call her one or two of these people with you and him. To go over and maybe look at it. Mm -hmm. And we, we never came up with a plan. No, no, there was no was plan. plan. There was no plan. This right. was just an allocation was, of funds. Right. Yeah. We can do and, that. We and can he also with, okay. And he work. also had a the wild floor or whoever it is. I can get, get you his okay. information. He also had a very good idea for the parkway, which was this uh, Japanese plant that can be walked on and it doesn't take much water and all of that. And there is water. I walked the site. Okay, again, water. we can do that. Okay. Yeah. okay. By the way, is there water? Because I walked it Sunday uh -huh. and it was dead dry. Now there's nothing planted in there, so there's no reason to water. Yeah. But is it water? So when I went there, there, there is a meter down by the curb and there is another one at the But top. is it waterable now? No. 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 Okay, so it's no, not turned it's on. Have, well, it has to be all irrigated and everything, Fine. but okay. the water is too. The as far as I know. Yeah. All right. Thank you, okay. Beth. Anything else? Um, I just want, I also told Tony that uh, I was down by the river, and we now have some LAPD who are cycling the river, and that might be why we don't have any homeless Excuse me, uh, yeah. guys. So, um, and I think that was it. Thank you. Alan, were you? Oh, oh. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the LA Greenway from uh, Los Angeles, from Port Laurel Canyon to Whitsitt. Uh, we have the funding. Um, we have we had a meeting with the Green Nazarian, and the River Project is going to be the agency. We have $150,000 that's sitting over at Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy to be given to the city, to be given back to the Conservancy, to be given to LA River, um, to River the River Project. But in that 150, we're also going to ask for another 50,000. We need that. We needed 200,000 to make it happen. And Santa Monica Conservancy said they didn't see any problem with that. So it's just got to go through the motions. 
and then we'll start work on, we will, the river project will be working on cleaning up that and getting, cleaning up the river from, from south side Laurel to Whitsit and getting a design together on how we can um, use the um, the banks and get up to the, you know, get, have access and all of that. There'll be a charrette on that so that everybody can have their input. And that piece has never been done. It was it done. Was done. Uh, that was one of the first pieces that right. was done, but it was kind of getting. It's horrible. Yeah. And it's got a lot of invasives in there. It's going to take a lot of volunteer work and a lot of. Um, yeah. And nothing on the north side. Nothing on the north side. Okay. Although our vision is. <laughs> it would be nice to have that. Yeah. Okay. I think they get a lot more pedestrian traffic if they access the north side yeah. from all the homes in there. We we do have something going, what we call Sycamore Pocket Park, which is the northeast uh, northeast corner there at Laurel Canyon. Yeah northwest corner, I'm sorry, of Laurel Canyon. And the Homeowners Association there has said that they will pay for maintenance. That's as far as we've gotten on that. And we don't have funding for it yet, so. And the homeless issue in there, if you get more patrols, then it would, more people would use it. Yeah. Because on next door, there's, it's really bad. It is bad, yeah. They talk a lot of talk about that area. Yeah. Thank you, Beth, appreciate it. Uh, Alan, I assume that you're here as, as moral support for Beth? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well done. Uh, Serge, you're on the agenda, so we'll hold you. And uh, was there anything you wanted to say? No? Okay. We don't know. What's that? We don't know. So, what do you mean we don't know? Wait, I gotta know something. What? Why is this gentleman photo uh, videotaping us? Why? Because he's choosing Because he can. But, but, but do you know who he is yeah. and why he's doing it? I don't, well, I don't know why he's doing it. But who is he? Who is he? He's an activist in the community in the city of Los Angeles, and he's attending well, this Well, I think you should tell us that before record. somebody comes in here and does that. I didn't and have a chance to tell you. The president knew. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. And uh, But there's no reason that this is happening? No, not that I know of. It's weird as hell. You're, and you're on tape indicating that. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> oh, we have Gil. We can add Gil so to the good. attendance. You know what? I'm going to go. So I'll see you guys. Hey, Gil. Hey, Gil. Oh, we have a replacement. Well, we had a quorum anyhow. That's, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame. Well, Bill's an architect. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a uh, conflict of interest? No. He's part of the. We have to bid it out. There has to be. We have to bid it out. We're talking about the agenda. We're talking about the agenda. Moving on. Item four. Thank you. We've got. We had. We had made contact with. John has made contact with with a few. Uh, owners and operators in the bid, uh, putting out, they're throwing out the net about who would like to become active, and we've had three people uh, who have said, yay, we'd like to, and uh, we've made contact with them. One has joined us tonight, the other two no. are MIA. We have two Oh, here. we've got two, I'm That's sorry, you snuck That's in. That's okay. I guess I'm easy to miss all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hi, how are you? What's Good, how are you? Who are you? I'm Peter. Hello, you're Peter. I'm Peter. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. Thank how are you? you? Good. Welcome. Thank you. We do have two. Thank you, Peter. That's why I said I'm very easy to miss. Huh? Thank you, Peter. I've left about I've, Peter. I've left about 17 messages for you. Did you really? Yeah. I was out of town for a very long time. Sorry about that. That's okay. No, I've been in the store and I've said hi and. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't get back to it. I didn't get any. Uh, anyways, uh, we wanted to introduce you, both of you, and uh, and give you an opportunity to say hello. Why don't you jump in here for sure. a second? There's an empty chair. Coincidentally, <laughs> yeah. uh, empty chair. It's a star spot. And, it's a lot. Uh, although, although, although you're not a, you're, you're ex officio, technically, but please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Sako Karagosian. Um, I uh, own a dental Sit office right down. here. Oh, okay. <laughs> First time. Um, I own a dental office right down the street where the uh, CPK Plaza um, is. I've been there for about three and a half years. And uh, I saw that email that went out. And I was uh, slightly active with the neighborhood council. And um, then I heard about you guys. I wanted to come by and check it out. And I would love to possibly be more active and you know, be a, be a participant in the community. Terrific. Yeah. I'm sorry, you opened the practice? I mean, uh, it's been about three and a half years now. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And actually, I know Barry. I've known him for a few years. His newsletter is amazing. 
Yeah. We were on it and scared your grandchildren scared last, grandchildren. last month. Yeah. If you recall, the, if you recall uh, Barry's, uh, Barry's magazine with the uh, with the with, with Sacco and the young and his, and his and is she? She's she's my partner, business partner, partner right? With the two magnifying glasses on the front, with his <laughs> open mouth big, big and the teeth, <laughs> scared the hell out of my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's watching. All right. But they noticed it. They did absolutely notice it. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you for it. Peter, me. you're up. My name is Peter Jarjour. I bought the Flask wine store uh, almost exactly five years ago. October will be five years. Thank you. And then uh, purchased the property earlier this year, yeah. or, or the end of last year, rather. But from, the, from the Petersons? From them, yeah. Yeah. Um, they had it in the family for... Oh God, Ever. 40, 50 years. Yeah. yeah, long time. Way before <clears throat> our time, but um, great family. And then they decided to kind of part with it and... I was like, we still keep in touch. We still see each other very often. Yeah, Joyce and uh, Chuck. I see Joyce every so often. I see yeah. Chuck and his wife a lot more often. Good people. Very, very good yeah. people. I still see Chuck. I was with him last week. Mm -hmm. We see each other as, as much as we can. And um, I saw the email go out. I felt like it's important to be involved in the community as much as possible. And Studio City's been very good to me. And the whole sense of community here is, is very, very strong. And um, I felt like I should you know, do whatever I can to kind of help out. Have you been active in Sherman Oaks as well? In their in their bid, now, are are you involved in their bid too? No, very very briefly when I was there, uh, yeah. when I started off there, I was. I'm sorry, I, I, you didn't mention it. He, he's they also own the uh, the Ventura. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 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 my father. My father's yes, uh, Ventura it's, it's the Vent, Ventura liquor store, not the Ventura liquor store. It's the called Valley Beverage. Valley Beverage. Beverage. Valley Beverage. My father yeah. was there, and my, right. my, I spent a few years there, and then um, before I was in Studio City. Right. Also a wonderful neighborhood, but I feel like Studio City has a much stronger kind of sense of community than than they do over there. But I mean, anyway, thank you. Welcome. But, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful. We will welcome and, and yeah, yeah, the the flask has been an integral part of this community for 50 years, as you obviously know. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Tell me about it. Me too. Wow. Such a good team to make. Uh, yeah. True. Tried to try to try to take it over. It didn't happen. By the way, I, I, I really, based on my knowledge of, of Peterson's and that store and my friendship with them, what you've done to that place is absolutely revolutionized. Thank you, I appreciate it very and much. And what you're doing in terms of the promotional things there and the inventory and everything, you've made a great change there. Thank you, I appreciate Thanks. it. It's really been a lot of work, yeah. but it's all been yeah. kind of a labor of Spend love. a few bucks, too. Right. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Quite a bit. And yeah, good. any questions of these gentlemen? Uh, nothing so far. No, well, not of you, but me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you. Any That's questions of cool. them uh, by any of you gentlemen? Did I hear you say, Doctor, that you're a member of the neighborhood council? I heard something about the neighborhood council. No, I was I was uh, attending meetings for a while, and I was about to join, and there was a conflict of interest as far as I scheduling see. and stuff, yeah. <clears throat> and are you both interested at this time enough that you could be agendized on the next board meeting? as possible real candidate so that you could be voted in or out? Absolutely. I would be absolutely, yeah. That was my question. Okay, good. Thank you, because uh, do you, are you aware, by the way, and just to make sure that we're on the same page, Peter Sigori is here. Of when we have our meetings and, and, and how often and that sort of thing, do you know? I think every other month. Yes, right? every, yeah. okay. Basically six meetings a year. And the importance on Monday of coming. Night. Pardon? And the importance of coming. And the importance <laughs> of showing up. Okay, thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Yes. Uh, don't sign on unless you're prepared to have your tails in the seats. Yes, yeah, okay? exactly. Because yeah. nobody likes chasing for, chasing people for an agenda. Do it for a for, for, for a quorum, pardon me. Okay? But I'd love to have you involved. Well, thank you for wrong. thank you for raising your hands and yeah. It's really appreciated and welcome. Absolutely. And Thank we, you for we having have us. you on the agenda as a vote. Please come on the 8th. Blah, 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 blah. You won't be embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> mark your calendars. I think November has changed, or oh, that was another meeting. November 5. November 5? November 5. Mark your yeah. calendars. Same place, and, 5 o'clock. Pardon? Same yeah. place, 5 o'clock. Same place, same time. Yeah. Um, thank you again. <laughs> Five. Yes, thank you. The minutes were circulated. I hope you had a chance to look at them. I didn't receive any comments. Nope. Uh, give you a moment to review them if you'd like. For half a moment. 
Yeah. Could you so see them? He wanted to see a map. Yeah. Is it possible to get a map of the showing the uh, what we call the what I did location? Yeah, the location which uh, which are is it t not title one group one group two? Yeah, the, the streets that are that applies to. Is and it that possible to get a map? Well, yeah. the idea is that it could come each meeting and be set where everybody we ever had we were discussing things about what are we going to do here. Oh, there. I brought the plan because you'd ask for the plan. Yeah, I forgot to ask about the map. I, I can't do that right now. Not yeah. now, but yeah, if there sure. could be a map for future meetings, like maybe sort of a large size map, maybe like on a laminated thing that could be rolled up. So anytime we're talking about something, Good point. that everybody will be absolutely know exactly what we're talking know which about. Of oh, zone one and zone two. Yes, yeah, so yeah. in other words, just a plot map. So that kind of it's a reasonable, reasonable thing. Nothing specific, though. Nothing specific. <laughs> Laminated on both yeah, sides. Yeah, with right. names attached <laughs> to each location <laughs> and phone numbers and <laughs> <in>. Sure, <laughs> right. But I think it's a great idea, really. Well, it's yours. Well, it's only, it's only an okay idea. Yes, sir. We'll, we can do we'll that. Do it. Thank you. Is it this? Yes, it is that. Can I have it back if, um, if, um, if you want to look at it for a You, no. Yeah. Gil, yeah. Gil, comes, Gil comes equipped. Well, I got everything here for you. Yeah, yeah, like that's the bigger. That's that would be really great. Thank you. By the way, welcome, Peter. By the way, welcome. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Okay. It was you're, just an you're idea. now officially included in the in the database. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Motion. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we have a motion to approve the uh, the minutes as as presented? And a second, please. Second. Thank you, Peter. All all approved. The aye. aye. Opposed, please. Hearing none. Motion passes. And discussion, treasurer's report. Peter has received the financials and wrote back the email saying approved. They were sent out. I assume that everybody has had the opportunity to flip through. What's the name? Not if you Peter. I mean, Patrick, I beg Patrick. your pardon. Yeah, Patrick. Well, Peter, too. I included him. <laughs> I have one question. Yes, sir. Um, check to alternative entertainment. Mm -hmm. For what? There are social media. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. I keep thinking that they're the ones that promote the ones that promoted yeah, the class. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I forget that they're the ones that, that did the uh, that did the that help with the promotion for the uh, the, the thing. I think on Ventura Place. Our, our Ventura Place. Our street festival. Street festival. Yeah. And they're doing our Instagram and they're doing and our I, Facebook. I forgot that. Sorry. Okay. Got it. Thank you. And it's been a little more active. Yeah, it's much more active. Yeah. We have over thirteen hundred. Yep. Thank you. I have no clue. Any any other questions? Hearing none, I take a motion to approve as presented. The financial report is presented. I'll do a motion. And a second, please. All in favor, all in favor of the motion? Aye. And opposed? Motion passes. Serge? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Serge? Yes, sir. Serge, you're up. He's the Director of Operations for Securitech, which is our security team here in Studio City, in our district. Uh, and he's here to answer questions, because you often ask questions about can we expand, can yes, we expand. Yes, yes. Can and we I get... never have the financials available, because I don't know what those charges okay. are. So this is the perfect opportunity, after Serge is finished, to ask those questions. Okay, thank you for having me today. Um wanted to go over and share with you guys what we're currently providing for the bid uh, so that you guys can have a better understanding. Uh, up until about a month and a half ago, we were doing uh, two patrol inspections every night, um, approximately 30 minutes each inspection. And what that consisted of was a marked uh, security patrol car going through the all main thoroughfare areas of the bid. We try to go through the alley areas, certain stores that had the alley areas. We'll drive through large commercial properties um, that have the parking lots and so forth. Primary purpose is to maintain a visible uh, you know, deterrent for, for any kind of general criminal activity. Also, if we observe uh, individuals that are trespassing or loitering on private property, we'll ask them to leave. Um, our rights uh, as it pertains to private property, uh, you know, trespassing and so forth, are going to be kind of limited because we're working as a part of the bid. So we'll suggest to people for them to leave if they refuse to leave. Then at that point, what we would do is, uh, you know, report back to the uh, business improvement district management, find out who the owner of that property is, so we can get uh, specific permission in order to affect the uh, removal of the uh, the individuals. Um, so far, in the last 
several years we haven't had problems like that. Most individuals, once you ask them to leave, they do leave, especially when it comes on to um, private property. On public property, we haven't really seen many large uh, encampments that you've seen in other areas. Um, you know, whenever we do see that, my office does work with LAPD to help identify what kind of resources can be dedicated to, uh, to get these people either assistance or um, find out on how we can possibly relocate them to areas that would not be a hindrance or blocking the sidewalk uh, issues. There's uh, city mandated, uh, you know, issues with on public property, uh, like the sidewalks where individuals can be in a lane position only between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. and other rules like that, that we would assist the um, LAPD officers to, to uh, enforce if, if those issues come up. But again, the Business Improvement District, even though there's a huge explosion in the uh, transient population throughout the uh, LA area, everybody's affected. We all see it under the freeways and so forth, the encampments. It hasn't been as big a prevalent of a problem um, in the Studio City Business Improvement District as opposed to other areas outside of it. And again, maybe some of you guys might, might have some different opinions on what you guys see on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, any property owner, stakeholder, business owner, or um, tenant or whatnot, if you guys are able to communicate with your uh, bid managers and share with us any kind of issues that are directly affecting your property for a temporary period, we can start directing resources to that specific area and help to alleviate some of the problems that are going on um, with that. And we've been pretty successful. On average, my staff is making probably two or three contacts with individuals that are trespassing on private property on a daily basis. So per month, we're generating probably about 90 to 100 reports um, of uh, individuals that are within the bid that we feel are, are trespassing on private property. But again, it's, a, it's kind of a cat and mouse game. We're trying to effectively get individuals to like not set up camp and uh, entrench themselves on the private property and so that it'll make it for a safer shopping environment and uh, create a safe environment for the businesses. About six weeks ago, we expanded two nightly patrols to one daytime patrol as well. So now there's a daytime patrol coming in intermittently for about a 30 minute period um, throughout the day. Now, some people may say, you know, that the 30 minute period per patrol is just too short of a time. It's a very large business improvement district. I agree. But given the budget that we're working with, I mean, uh, you know, it's about as much as we were able to uh, to effectively do. To, uh, there's been some suggestions in the past of possibly considering like uh, doing a bike patrol or a higher visibility patrol application. Um, if we were to go to like a bike patrol, let's say eight hours a day, even five days a week, I mean, you're going to be looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of around seven to 8,000 a month. Um, whereas right now your budget used to be about 2,200 a month. Now with the daytime addition, it went up to about 35, 3,600 a month. So again, we're trying to keep costs within what, what the bid is able to afford. Other business improvement districts within the city have larger security budgets and are able to possibly do more, but that's what we're, we're at right now. Um, it's really important that again, everybody, here at this table and other stakeholders within the community uh, share any issues that they observe or problems that they observe so then I can start directing our, our resources towards those problem areas. Otherwise, it's hit or miss and we're not gonna be able to, to know. Um, but that's kind of the long and the short of what we have going on as far as uh, our company service to the business improvement district is concerned. If anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to Answer yeah, there. <laughs> well, the the eight hours, seven to eight hours, would be about seven thousand a month, and that is during the day only. Well, we could do it whatever time you want. Doesn't matter. Okay, and it's then, twenty-four hours, doesn't it? The time. Well, I mean, our service can be twenty-four hours, but okay. I mean, let's say if we were to do an eight-hour shift um, on a bike, five days a week. Let's say not seven days a week, five days a week. So that would be forty hours a week. Um, the, the current billing rate for a bike patrol officer right now, you're looking at somewhere around $35 an hour. So, you know, s start doing the math on that. And no matter what time of day. Doesn't matter what time of day. 35 yeah. bucks an hour. Somewhere in that, give or take. That includes the bike allowance, the, the maintenance for the uh, for the equipment and, and so forth. If you just wanted a foot patrol officer, it would be less expensive because they just cover less area. Less, yeah. um, you know, right now in a vehicle, we encourage our patrol officers, especially during the day, to get out of the vehicle and kind of walk specific areas. And we try to encourage them to go from like, don't do the same areas time and time and time again. Yeah. I mean, because the, the bid is so big that, uh, you know, we do our best to cover as much area as possible. Um, and how much is a car per hour? 
with the car, like let's say you for eight for hours. Day. Yeah. Well, per hour is thirty-five an hour if it's bike. If it's bike, if I it's mean, car, for it's... for a vehicle, you're going to add about maybe another five to seven dollars so per hour, somewhere in that in that neighborhood. Yeah. Now. I'd have to car. price this. I mean, I'm doing this more ad hoc at this okay. point. There's no freedom. Where are we going to get additional police to, to patrol Studio City? We are. Okay. We, so so we we have. We have the support of the police department. We do, but only for a period of time. There's yeah. a window. It's not. It's not it, an unlimited thing. And it could go away tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not. Well, yeah, it could go away tomorrow if we allow it to go away tomorrow. No, no it, it could go away tomorrow. tomorrow. I don't know whether or not we, we allow pull it. out of them. It, it it took it took meetings with the captain and it took meetings with Officer Smith and and they finally relented and said, okay, we'll do it for about a month. So they're cruising for about a month, and that's the month of September. And if City Hall, if we beg and plead, it might go a little longer, and if we beg and plead, it could be what stopped tomorrow. What is it? Studio City does not contribute enough money to the City of Los Angeles? We're not the only community in the City of Los no, Angeles, and we're on the low rung of the totem pole regarding well, homelessness. Because we have a low crime rate? We have a low crime rate, yes. and we have fewer homeless people. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. We, that's we, yeah. we, we, if I may just add one thing, if you guys drive directly out of the Business Improvement District, you'll see an immediate difference. I mean, it's a statement of fact. Go down Ventura Boulevard and start going, and then start going up, let's say, Van Nuys Boulevard or into Sherman Oaks or other areas. I mean, and there's encampments and, and entrenched encampments and stuff yeah. up and down. Whereas in, in, in this area, we've, we've kind of kept it at bay. Yeah, we have challenges along the river, um, but there's different agencies that are involved with that as well. Um, but overall, there it's it's less here. It's it's so, always been less. So we be, we're penalized because we're more ambitious about our community. Is that is that what I'm hearing? You got to take care of yourself. I'm not saying I, that. I don't know that. I don't know that <laughs> that's the truth. No. I've I, seen more cars, more uh, police cars this month. Well, you're going to see them in September. Yeah. Because they said we will. Yeah. But you know, I'm happy with being able to take care of it ourselves. I'm not happy with that. you know just recently. Uh, someone broke into my building. Again? Again. Did the, what is this, an annual movement? I don't know what it is. It, what it is, is it's, 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 it's yeah, becoming a common event. Yeah, you, about a year ago. He, he turned around, so, and I have it on, on camera, and he broke out the window, and he went into the building, and he took the cash registers, and he left. Yeah, we had that too. And the guy had a, a mask on, and he, he knew exactly how to do this, he wasn't intimidated by anything. He had gloves on. He didn't cut himself. And, you know, uh, so so these things do occur. And I'm not I'm not the only victim of crime in Studio City. There were lots of others. Yeah. I noticed the other day that there was a broken window at this new coffee shop, uh, Blue Something, whatever it's called. Blue yeah, I saw it boarded up. Is that yeah, that yeah. window was broken out too. So you know, break. It's, Break and grab, or, or whatever they call that, smashing, smashing, becoming yeah. more and more prevalent, and we we are a wealthy community. This is, you know, this is a nice area. I mean, you go to the flask and you got you you display it. It's happened to me too. Yeah, more more than once. More. Yeah, it's happened though. It happens. We have an average of about two to three car break-ins a month yeah. on our property. In the parking lot area. Yeah. So that forty-two, if. We'll vote and all that stuff, but we, we don't have to commit. We can commit to as many hours as we want. Well, we would want to keep the shifts to about an eight-hour shift minimum and a minimum of 40 hours a week. Okay. I think and that's what he said earlier. Yeah. If we start it's 300 bucks for a bike a day, and yeah. how much for a car? I mean, roughly 42. around 42. I mean, I'm going to take 320, 330 bucks. Yeah. But the uh, but the issue the issue is if we start chopping it up and going to a four-hour, five-hour yeah, shift okay. from so a staffing perspective, anybody that employs yeah. employees, it's really difficult to find qualified individuals right now. Yeah. And uh, and that's where the challenges uh, the challenges lie. So it's it's a eight, it's an eight hour commitment. Serge, yeah. I've yeah. got a question. You you sure. touched on something. You said that, that foot patrol is cheaper. Our bid is at least the heart of the bid is is fairly small. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that a foot patrol is a, is not only an economical way to go, but I would think that it almost is a preferable way to go. This thing is uh, nice. Because yeah, somebody out there walking better. sees a lot more than a cruiser. But they can't respond um, to something. No, they can't respond. The other end. Absolutely, they can't. The, and the, I understand that. The issue is with, like, let's say on the current model, mm -hmm. um, which is a patrol model, 
if we were to do it, we're, we're, we're allocating 30 minutes of time to the bid, okay? If we were to start walking, uh, everybody kind of have to do the math. And again, how much area can we possibly cover yeah. in 30 minutes? No, I'm not suggesting to change it from car to foot. Mm -hmm. But if there's an addition, I was thinking that foot in addition to, if we were to yeah. upgrade. I mean, definitely we can to go we to can, foot. We, we encourage our patrol officers <laughs> to get out and make as much contact as they can with business owners, shop owners, stakeholders within the community. But again, it's a feasibility type issue. How much time do we possibly have at nights? And we're, in the, we're here in the middle of the night and those guys are not gonna be able to make contact with a lot of businesses because there's not a lot of 24 hour businesses on the, within the, the boulevard. Um, during the day, we're able to do that somewhat and we encourage our patrol officers to do that. But it, again, it's kind of hit and how miss. How much daytime, pardon me, but how much daytime contact do you guys have who have businesses on the, on the, uh, on contact the, with, the bid? Contact with, yes, with patrol. Direct never, contact. I never, never have. have Anybody? Never, seen them. never. I've been seen them. Not ever, not okay. once. Ever. Okay. And then again, that eight hour, we only get 30 minutes yeah. on it? Well, no. On the current model, it's a patrol model. So what happens is, is that you have one inspection during the day, seven days a week, and we rotate the hours on that. And on in addition, every night, there's two additional inspections of 30 minutes each. So we're coming in here, we're spending 30 minutes dedicating it to the Business Improvement District. You're getting a drive-by. So we're only getting yeah. 30 minutes on that eight hours. <clears throat> well, I don't know what... Or an no. hour on that eight hours. Well, no, the eight hours is a different model. That's yeah, an on-site guard it's model. It's just a drive-by. Okay. Well, were we yes, yes. putting in the surveillance system at one time with the cameras? Oh well, yeah, that was so long ago. I know, it was but not, that, not feasible. That doesn't mean it's getting awfully expensive to have this patrol, and we're not getting the satisfaction I think we should be getting. So I don't know if I agree with that. Well, that's my opinion. I think we're well, getting. Mike, not the side question. The cameras, are, can, the cameras are going to talk to the homeless. No, but <laughs> that's the homeless true. is but, the homeless is part of the is part hmm. of the problem. Can, can I ask a question? I mean, it sounds like it's not a big homeless problem in relation to other parts of the community. That this is less of a problem. In Studio City. In Studio yes, City, sir. it's less for whatever reason. He could, he could give, they could give us but the names of the homeless people. No, but, well, but if you because, slack off on it. Possibly because yes. it's being done well, or possibly because of something else. But it's not because it's not desirable, obviously. So then it's an issue of crime, and I doubt if those people are the ones doing the sophisticated break-ins, and that's a police issue, isn't it? It is a police issue. issue. But and that's an entirely different question, it seems to me. So what could we do to make the primary, it sounds like primarily you're dealing with homeless. Well, we're, we're trying to provide a safe business environment within the sure. business improvement district. And that deters but obviously everybody The lower-level type you crimes. Again, if you're going to get a sophisticated group coming in to, to do a burglary, they're going to do it. You know, they're going to do it. There's organized teams that do the motor vehicle burglaries. If some businesses are having two, three motor vehicle burglaries every day, you know, again, they're looking for um, easy marks so where, where there's there's stuff left in cars, they're breaking windows. A lot of us now with the, with the keyless entry systems are forgetting to lock cars while we're on the phones and so forth. We're distracted. So they're looking for unlocked cars, and there's different ways that uh, you can combat that. So um, the, the, whatever you want to call it, that these kind of crimes. Opportunity. What type of enhancement would help to deter them? It seems to me if people are breaking into cars. Um, education. More, I mean, educating uh, well, educating that's, persons no, that's, that come yeah. to, to visit your properties, having signage up that says, don't leave valuables out, you know, would be, would be a way to do that. Increasing lighting in parking areas helps discourage uh, motor vehicle burglaries. Um, you Sean, know. Sean Smith says cameras, 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 yeah, cameras, 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 and better cameras and pointed towards the, where you, they can pick up license plates. Yeah. Well, that's well, you know, a bad Probably could help. Although, in order to, in my case, but I that's think. for the businesses to do. Well, not yeah, but we have surveillance systems. Yeah. It's probably, I've got at least Every four cameras on there. Yeah. They have the same spray you get up over and over. You, you guys have alarms on your businesses? Yeah, sure. of course. Yeah. 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 On top of that. Yeah. I even have bars on some of the windows <clears> to <throat> do that. 
Yeah, and we've had one experience with Copia, and so you, my, you've handled well, we it really well. Yes, I, I and I've always appreciated it. It seems to what me it means to we have a model that's like maybe working, and we can just have yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's I not going to solve everything. Yeah. 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 If I could if I could just add to that, if I could add one thing, and sir. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't, after this, I'd okay. like you to get back to sure. the, the speak, and, and I'd like sure. him to have some closure on his question. Sure. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, but I mean, we, a question was brought up with regards to value for the for the service. I mean, for the amount of money that's being spent and the amount of service that you guys are getting, I mean, I think that there's tremendous value for the service. I don't think it's by accident that there's less homelessness within the biz, the business improvement district as compared to immediately to the east and immediately and to the west. I mean, it's not by accident. We've been doing this service now for the bid for at least four or five years. Lorena Parker brought us back, and, and I think there's the tremendous value in that. And keeping, uh, you know, trespassing individuals from entrenching themselves onto private property. We're not gonna eliminate the problem. We're basically, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're having it kind of move to other areas, but in, in order for us to, uh, to address that, uh, that concern, it's a socioeconomic issue that the city's gonna have to deal with and other agencies are gonna have to deal with. Mm -hmm. All we can do is just what's kind of given to us at hand. Um, well, my thought, the, the whole thing with the 30 minute drive by, mm -hmm. that that's the program we're paying. And I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I don't have it right in front of you. What are we paying a month? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Right now, it's here. It's here. Oh, it's here. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Forty. It's going to go up to thirty-nine ninety. Thirty-nine ninety. That's going to include the day, next year. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to include the day and two nights. Correct. Okay. So you got a total three inspections. Yeah. Thirty-seven days a week, three hundred sixty-five days a year. And and as we were saying, is that. We have to pick that right minute and just get lucky and, and make contact with some individuals that might happen to be there. Whereas on an eight, eight hour shift, right. you're going to be in presence in the bid, running yeah, the bid. The, the, eight hour, eight hours. the eight hour presence would be a dedicated presence for the bid during that entire eight hour period. Back in 2000, I don't know if any of you guys were around, 2000, 2001, 2002, we, we were providing a, a bike patrol. Uh, mm -hmm. It was our company that was doing that about mm -hmm. 15, 16, 17 years ago. And Lorena Parker had started it, and for budgetary reasons, yeah. we kind of eliminated it. Was it was not the same situation as now. Correct. It expanded. The business improvement district got bigger, I believe, right? But the homes got bigger, too. Well, the homeless, that, that's a different yeah. uh, a different kind and of issue. Crime, so that's the issue. The, the, right. the crime and the homeless. That's exactly bigger. the issue. So we right. have to figure out if we can come up with, if there's a way for us to come up with more money to dedicate a real well, live patrol as opposed but you guys to gotta weigh by. weigh the 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 risk to reward now let's say that let's say you guys go up to eight thousand a month let's say and have an eight hour person um over there whether on bike foot or in car or whatnot um does that extra expenditure of that four to five thousand a month is that going to get you the tremendous value and now the other 16 hours you guys don't have any oh, kind of coverage um and where do we dedicate it? Do we dedicate it during the day? Now nighttime is left alone. So that's really good. Again, the number of contacts that my staff is having, they get the reports on a daily basis. It's a tremendous amount. Yeah. Because we, we service probably about 150 different properties throughout the city of LA and the surrounding areas. And this is one of the highest generating uh, areas with regards to um, uh, amount of activity and contacts. So then the other thing would be to figure out if we could get an additional uh, drive by and what the cost of that would be. That's a that's a possibility that you guys can consider if you guys want an additional drive by just to increase visibility yes. into this uh, into this area. That would be um, more worthwhile. You know, or you know, the next step would be a dedicated officer. Um, yeah, but again, and again, that's an eight-hour shift. It's an eight-hour so, shift. But a drive more drive bys would. And it's only a deterrent. They're by law not right. allowed to do anything. They can't do yeah, it. Right. That's the issue right there. But they have really no power. No, they they have, uh, we're getting them off your properties. Yes. We're getting them off your properties. Well, you're trying to. You no, they are. are, they are, they are, are we're getting so them far, off. So far, tell, tell me if I'm wrong, Serge. Uh -huh. In your reports, I have not seen one no move. I have not seen one of them, maybe. I have. They said that they wouldn't move. That, that said, seen. one guy, the, the, guy, one guy the officer has said the guy didn't move. Right. I. I don't recall Most are very members. cooperative. Most are cooperative. They understand it's private property. There was one incident that occurred about six months ago where someone assaulted one of my uh, patrol officers and uh, threw some urine at, at him or something, or yeah. there was something that was thrown at him. That individual was arrested. Yeah. Uh, oh. We pressed charges with it, and uh, and I, I guess he pled out or something happened because we didn't, 
we only went to court twice, uh, and then after that, the case disappeared. Usually, what that means is they pleaded down to a misdemeanor or something else, and and it, and it went away. Um, but uh, but again, if we see that there's someone that's set up an encampment on a private property and the person's refusing to leave, we would immediately report it because we report all our contacts with the address and so forth. Now the business improvement district management is going to have to find out who owns that property or who's leasing that property, and then at that. At that point, uh, you know, we'd have to get express permission from that property owner to either affect an arrest or to affect uh, further yeah. action. And we've all signed those. Well, uh, yeah, we can probably, we can probably get that information. We have that information, we right? Know yeah. Owns but we're getting all of the commercial. Properties. We're getting compliance though. Yeah. Because we, we haven't actually. We pretty we're, yes, about eighty yeah. percent. Right. Maybe eighty-five percent as of right now. Yeah. And if you yeah. need their personal approval, we can probably uh, create a letter from the community to the individual, mm -hmm. and in turn giving you authorization to remove any unwanted people, or person from that property. But that we can do that, and and, and it's a this is a pretty active community. Right. There are people walking up and down the street all the time. By right. the way, this is somebody that sleeps next to the, the CVS every day. He sleeps right there on the For side. the last like couple of weeks behind the CVS, we've been removing full RVs of persons yeah, camping right. there. Been an issue. Yeah, but we, if you notice on the, the last yeah. couple of weeks, that, that's been, they've been on the property. And what happens with those RVs, that's a different phenomenon because now they're living inside the RVs and they're doing the, the dump, dumping of their right. sewage material. Um, into areas until you're waking up in the morning and all of a sudden there's like a river of urine mm -hmm. and other Thank stuff. And stuff. So, um, so that's why it's, uh, it's kind of... Or it's a very delicate issue. I mean, yeah. the police have become... I mean, yeah. delicate in all senses. I mean, I read your the emails. There's, there's zones, though, um, within the city on uh, that where, uh, you know, it's coming... Uh, it's uh, cohabitating and uh, it's habitating inside a, a vehicle. Where it's allowed, and and you know those are areas that can't be enforced. But there's other areas, like residential areas and certain commercial areas, where it's not allowed. And if we start seeing that that it's, it's a problem, we'll look at the map and and see even on public streets. Then we can start directing LHP resources to uh, to help assist us with that. But again, that hasn't been as big of a problem as uh, as so forth because we're getting compliance from the ones on private property. All right, um, we need to wrap up a little bit. I'm satisfied. I think I got what I need. So do you want to propose something for I the next agenda? I would like to agenda? propose on the next agenda that we talk about uh, increasing the budget and discussing what we would get the most bang for our buck as opposed to doing an, either an eight-hour shift or asking for additional drive Then we buys. need a proposal. So can I, I ask, we're not now, we can, we're not now. That we discuss this it on the next meeting. meeting. Oh, oh, be right, agenda. Yeah, I would need to put it together. Can I ask you to send me a breakdown sheet for of all your costs? I'd like to know if we could afford to increase uh, to more than two times in an eight hour period. Well, you guys have three now. We have, we have three, three now. Sorry, three. So more than three, whatever it costs per. And it's three in a 24 hour period. In a 24 hour period, I'd like right. to know how much we're paying for each one. Sure. So then we can decide. What I'll do is I'll, I'll provide you guys with the current and then I'll expand on it. Once in the day and two at night. Well, yeah, we. Yeah. Have, I mean, can we, we alter it that way? He's saying well, it doesn't it's, matter it's, it's day once or night. A, no, no, it, it doesn't matter day or night for a dedicated guard on patrol. No, the cost is, is cheaper. It's patrol you're speaking yeah, of, right? Patrol. On the patrol side, the cost is cheaper at nights. Our okay. ability to get around at night is exponentially okay. easier than Which during is better the day. For us. Because I don't think we can afford dedicated, and I don't think we're going to get well, what we want. But we can uh, we can use ask Serge to give us uh, give us a set of numbers right. and options and put it on the agenda for next meeting. Right on. Okay. This is the patrol. And I'm saying I'm, I'm and we're licensed by the police control. commission though to perform private that's, patrol. That's part of your business. Uh, no, but on city in property. In order for you to do that, you have to. In order for you to be in that business, you have to get that license. That's not something that. Ninety-five percent of security companies I, I don't, don't have, have that. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you, Serge. Would you include, by the way, to make me happy, sure. members on foot patrol? <laughs> But that foot goes, that goes back to dedicated again. That goes back to yeah. dedicated. But I can, I yeah, can give I you guys options. Let's make it happen. So that we have, so <laughs> yeah. have something to look at in terms of sets of numbers at the next meeting. Yeah. So uh, is my proposal. It's on, it's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. We're good. Any other questions yeah. for the man before he leaves? Yeah. Um, one, one more thing in closing, if, if I could just add, um, and again, I really appreciate your time. A um, couple of things that you guys can do on your private properties to, to help uh, 
discourage individuals from loitering. Um, if there's any open water source or electrical source, I would suggest capping them or putting locks on them um, because that attracts uh, you know certain individuals to loiter on your property and mm -hmm. to utilize those resources where they wouldn't be otherwise able to get it. Increase the lighting. Uh, the, the better that your property is lit, I understand, you know there's an electrical cost to it. But with LED and so forth now, it's it's not as much as it was before. I got it. Um, and if you guys are experiencing problems, even motor vehicle burglaries or other problems and stuff, if you guys pass this information on to your business improvement district managers, they can pass it on in turn to us. Then we can kind of keep a, you know, more attention to that area for at least a limited time while we do it. Now we try to be as fair as possible, and the people all the way on the west side of the bid, and the people all the way on the east side. I mean, to get reasonably even amount of uh, attention. But, but again, if you guys can help direct us to on where the problems can be based on your specific knowledge of your property, that'll help get more value for your dollar as well. So, okay. all right. Are we good? Okay. Thank you very right. much. Thank sir. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for having me. Alfredo. Thank you for the gift. Alfredo, thank you. you can use thank this you. to put in the back of your building. <laughs> use this in the back of your building too. Did you see my building? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you can land a 747. <laughs> That's why they're coming. Well, Thank you very much. All right, moving on. We're talking fire hydrants. <laughs> we are talking fire hydrants. Uh, actually, I, we were at a, another meeting, and I had explored this about six months ago, and then I explored doing uh, our electrical boxes. Uh, and at that time, I couldn't get any money from the council office. Following the committee the other committee that you'll hear about later and the talk that was going on in that room I went back to the council office and secured some money um, so we can start with the fire hydrants the color on your agenda is the approved color by the city of Washington it's a little swatch a little kind of little, little, tiny little thing yeah. yellow so the idea is they're just they're beat up oh, looking third you're done yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not they're all beat up looking ivy. Yeah, they're, they're all ugly. Okay. They're all ugly and they have discoloration and rust and everything else and they'll clean them all Do up. Do we have to have an approved company it's to... It's already approved. Everything is approved. No, the, but a co the company to do it. But it has to be approved by the council office. That's what, okay, that's what I'm thinking. Um, and my reasoning for it is because renewal is coming up, I'd like to start doing these visual things that help brand our organization. Oh, yeah. In addition to that, you know, the Sherman Oaks have, they painted your electrical boxes. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'm getting to that right like now. That kind of, oh, yeah. sorry. That's okay. I didn't, I didn't mean to take it. <laughs> We're <time>. telegraphed. You <laughs> did it. <laughs> I thought I had mentioned both of them. You did, yes. Um, and, and then further down, after the fire hydrants are done, another group of artists would come in oh, at, yeah. again, a price the council office will pay two-thirds of. I like that. Um, with our logo on the front and film celluloid wrapped around each box in a template, in paint, mm -hmm. and over the paint would be a guardian film that prevents graffiti. So not, not individualized art. And the council so. office will take care of paying for the graffiti as well. Do we need and how are the artists it? chosen? Uh, again, there is a list of approved artists that the city will accept, and then the council office will say, you can do this one and we will... We get blessing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a good thing. It's, I, I it's, had a problem. It's for branding you know, and visual identification prior to yeah. our information and the petitions and everything else going out to get signatures. So something visual that the yeah. community and membership can see is being done by this organization. I am still a little iffy about the whole concept. So I, there's, I, I would like to, we'll, we'll have further discussion about it. Yeah. <laughs> but the fire hydrants can be Fire hydrants done. Get that done? Yeah. yeah that, that Do we need a motion or something? Yes, you can make a motion. I'll make a motion to vote on the fire hydrant. Mike, can I speak to you later? Uh, yes. About your request to have this brought up the next because I'd like to. Are you excuse me? Uh, are you are you back to the? Uh, yeah, there's a motion. The question. <laughs> I, know, I know. I just was. Are you? I'm, I'm sorry. Are you back to the question of the of the, the patrols. Uh, patrols? Yeah. Right. Can we finish this one? We've got a motion on the table. Yeah, fine. I just okay, second yeah. that. I'll second the motion. <coughs> uh, all in favor of uh, moving forward with the fire hydrant. Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to readdress the issue with the. This, I don't know where their patrol starts and begins. Are they, are they part of the Sherman Oaks thing? Are they part of the Wanga Pass thing? 
I don't know if it's the, that they cover any of those other areas Sorry? that are adjacent to us. But I think he's only discussing. We well, don't. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know what he's discussing. Yeah. He's discussing Studio City. Yes. But there's Valley Village. There's Flagler Pass. I, I just want to know how much of the, of the patrol they were able to sell to the different bids. Well, he would hire. He was saying he would hire on uh, additional workers if we. But I know, he, I, but he's speaking specifically about Sherman Oaks. I want to know if they are also to have a patrol, their patrol in an adjacent city. Why? I don't understand. Well, because I like to know how much of their patrol is is adjacent to us as opposed to here with us. So how much coverage are we really getting? If they have to go from Studio City to Sherman Oaks, they got to go through Studio City to get to Sherman Oaks. If the same thing occurs at the Galanga Pass or in Valley Village, I just think that we need to know that information. Now we know. Now we know what his people are doing and not doing. Right. Well, I mean, we have to take. We have to believe when we. When I read the reports every every day, when I see them, I have to believe that he's really doing what he says. I mean, part of me is like, oh, that's a nice looking thing. It looked just like the one he wrote yesterday. But you know, apparently, it is working. <laughs> So and my idea was if they could well, show right. a little more presence at the nighttime. I'm, I'm not against it, Mike. I, yeah. okay. I just want to broaden my, my, my knowledge I of what's going on. I think, I think it's reasonable that we do whatever we can do to, to keep them uh, and it's not necessarily and, as well as all purveyors that we deal well, with honest about you know, what the, they're the providing with these security security. companies is that they, they work on the fear. And fear is fear is what uh, they they but they're not they're not capable of doing so much of what. But if you don't have anything at all, <coughs> you then you're. Yeah, so you, want to, you want to get rid of the homeless completely? Not yeah. the homeless, no. It's the crime. Well, that's what they did. The and homeless. They so haven't we, stopped any crime. I just want to make sure that we have some coverage. All right, we need to move on. If we can. We uh, on number nine. Uh, uh, the gentleman from Stage Range is, is a no-show, so we'll, we'll put that on hold, move it to the next agenda. <coughs> Number 10, I want to see a show of hands for everybody that would like to become Vice President to replace Ben DiBenedetto. <laughs> show of hands, please. <laughs> show of hands for all of How about if you anybody that, who does not raise their hand. <laughs> <laughs> Are you leaving? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you wouldn't want to. Do you know where you're going? <laughs> Around by yes, sir. The, yes, sir. Yeah. He could come I'd on. Like to, I'd, like to, I'd like to nominate Matthew Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> Good time. Be poetic, Justin. Yeah. We need a Veep who's going to be active. And I'll start pointing unless somebody would like to still volunteer. Time, so. I might be and able to chair these like meetings to discuss in this case that Tony can. It's not a big deal. You, you, What's you, involved in it? It's basically it nothing. I mean, I have to go to meetings. Yeah. Yes, you have to go to meetings, which you've been doing regularly. Yeah. And other, you're, than, other than the meetings. If I can speak Spanish, I'll do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm not good well, at talking to people right? <laughs> about making cold calls. And, Why are you sitting so no. silently, yeah. you guys? No, 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 yeah. Maybe ah. next time. Huh? Maybe next time. <laughs> Why don't we just have a right, right in who you think? <laughs> take that position, and then you, you can look at the number of people. I, think I will that's nominate Mike. Uh, yeah. Huh? No. Well, I'm sorry. I heard a nomination that, on the floor. Well, he do not want to nominate him if he doesn't want to do it. He has to have some proactivity here. Yeah. Well, uh, no, but then you can sort of force him. <laughs> <laughs> because of popularity, that's what we do. I'm sorry, I didn't hear a nom I heard a nomination made. Who, who Mike. Did? I said Mike. Huh? You said Mike? I heard a nomination for Mike. Mike, I you accept? Mike. I assume Mr. Sitkin you were referring to? Yeah, I, I heard a nomination no, for Mike. We have to accept that in order to go further. If you don't accept it, you don't have to. But I mean, what, what's involved in it is the question. Mike, uh, I will tell you specifically. I served as vice president for probably uh, four years before, uh, before our former president bailed out and moved to Mexico. Mm -hmm. And my entire job was running one meeting during that four years when he was absent. Yeah, but we had a good president. Alfredo? And you'll never be alone. Mike, I yeah. think he would be fine. I think he would be terrific at it. Yes, I know. Is it just to serve out his term? You'll never be alone. You'll always have support. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring you free pasta. Oh, Ooh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pardon me. We're by meatballs. There's a lot of responsibility going on. Uh, do I hear a second? 
Do I hear a second whose name is not Sitka? All in favor of Mike Sitka. All right, unanimous. Way to go, Mike. And now you're not officially uh, chief uh, screwer honor of. Oh no, I want to keep that job. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't anymore. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Thank you. I like that job. Um, okay. Banners. Yes, we're going to talk about the holiday banners, and we've got pictures. Well, this is the banner that has been approved. Yes. That we've used. Uh, and I'll just take these. There are two bolts. Well, all of you have copies, so we know what we're talking this about. This is our parking banner that goes over the parking lot during the holiday season. It starts November 24th. Oh, that's the one at the restaurant. There. It's the recess parking yeah. lot. And this organization has generally picked up two free hours, the first two hours of anybody who goes into the lot. Uh, this organization has paid for last year. That cost came to $5,600. So that's, that's the money you're talking about. Now, that last year, did we not expand the dates a little bit? Yes, by year? three days. By three days, okay. Just so it, the 5000 it actually got... Used. Yes. Oh, yeah. They have to that present was, it. Yes, that was presented <coughs> tickets. Really did. Yes. Yeah. And the year before, that jumped from the year before. Yes, it was sir. only like thirty some odd hundred, as I recall. It was about thirty six, thirty seven hundred yeah, okay. dollars. Yeah. So it was, it was more used. Hopefully, even more this year. Yeah. That's good news to the businesses. That's another that. that so I need a motion on this. Yes. Oh. Okay. To we have a motion the, uh, to uh, parking banner. We have a motion for, to, for the parking banner to go on those dates, November 23rd to December 30. All in uh, second, pardon? Second. Thank you. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. These Wait, do we have, do we pass? Yes, we do. Uh, okay. These are the colors. Yeah, this yeah, is what it looks like. It's the same banner. It's the same banner. Same banner. No, I'm just, this is a pro forma kind of thing. Okay. You guys have done this in the past. So. We already have the banner. You're actually reusing nice. the banner. Yeah. And it's not dirty. No, we're not printing no. anything new. It needs to or be clean. Right. It's a nice banner. And the other thing. Did that answer your question, Gil? You didn't like the banner. Oh, <laughs> back a few years ago when I was in when first years of design school. Yeah. When you use red and green together, they're the nature of those colors. They aren't good together oh, right? really? in terms of legibility. So it's, it's much harder to read, but I'm not suggesting. No, okay, fine. However, would you bring that up next year when this gets dirty? If you need to, you might want to talk to somebody about which colors because you're in a car, it's very hard to read those. That part of the I think I you're, you're right. right because I think I remember. This is not red, red, just out of it's for clarification. This it's is orange. our logo color, it's orange. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, we're talking red, red. Uh, I remember. I'm just saying I, it's orange. I do remember yeah. last year the dates were also in orange. Uh, and they were not readable. They were in and black. I remember, they were in black. Yeah. I know we, we changed it to black. I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh, I we see. We changed okay. it to black because it was not readable. It's purely, and we also made them bigger. We do not want to spend any more money. Okay. But yeah. I mean, if we do have to, we might just speak with the graphic design. Point well taken. About okay. the colors that will be most legible. Yeah. For the next, the next the, time this, we do what a What colors you put on top? There was a guy named Joe's. I mean, there was a whole series of art done. You want to do a drop shadow or a, a, no, a, a highlight no, around it or something? No, I was just saying simply the well, choice of don't colors. Don't do it next year like that. <laughs> okay. Pretty valuable information. Thank you. If what, <laughs> well, if that's what you're trying to do, then you do it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gil. So the other banner um, is the banner that goes on the posts on Ventura Boulevard. No. This is the, your banner. I know. Um, don't even want to talk about it. I wanted to change it last year to a holiday issue, um, but it it wasn't acceptable by this board. Um, and I want to change it again, this is uh, presuming that this is what you have now. For two years we did. Because it, not, it doesn't, again, it doesn't brand our organization. It has the icon of the bookstore that used to be the movie theater on Ventura Boulevard. I would like to suggest if yeah. if we're keeping this same design that we replace it at least with our logo. I think so. I agree with that. So that people know who we are. That means new signs. I know they can this is an overlay. We can do the same banner, just an overlay of our logo. It's easy to do, it's it's in the computer. 
Yeah. So then you suggestion. then print on top of yeah. the existing mm -hmm. sign. And I've already gotten a quote for this, $3,700. We have, and the, you'll see on the record, there are 54 posts to do. These are back to back on Ventura Boulevard during the holiday period. How much do new signs? How many how many signs? Two on that, each post. Put that motion on. Do you think we bring it to this meeting? Or we it's on, it's here now for a motion. In that case, I, I make the motion. You can. Because we need to get this going to do. I like to on the popcorn. Thank I you, would like to speak to the motion. We have to get a second first. Do I hear a second for the motion? Uh, now you can discuss. I think they're terrible. You don't like them? I hated them from the moment but, I saw but them. But to get a whole new I know, that's why, that's why I would like to speak to the motion, and the motion, and, this, and what I'd like to ask is what what were the costs of new motion, of new, new, new signs? You know, I didn't bring the other ones that I designed because the other ones were shot down last year. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, I have three designs. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> take it personally. <laughs> Do you remember what the cost was, roughly? Uh, $3,700. No, I mean to no, do new signs. Oh, no, I don't. Know. I don't know. That was more like that. It seemed to me it was we were talking about a lot, like a lot more. Mm -hmm. It was a lot more money. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, I, I don't remember. I just remember nobody to wanting to say Merry well, Christmas or Happy Holidays. <laughs> they were trying to yeah. get it to the run. I wasn't going to argue that issue. This was to modify this one so it's ever been Right, and to do no one's is going to be a lot more. Would it be reasonable to ask some somewhere on the beginning of the year that we look for a design firm or somebody that would I have three designs. I mean, I've got, we, I did three designs. Well, designing designing them is not a problem. Designing them is not a problem. Um, we, we can, can, we can, design, we can uh, find somebody we can go to a school. Yeah, yeah. We can, yeah. We can get designs. I can, design. I can, <coughs> I can do all that stuff. Oh, Just nobody like the idea. Satisfying everybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can <coughs> spend so much money on these things. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get the views out. Yeah, I want to I wanna ask something. Do you think because we're going toward renewal that it might be a good idea to change the signs now and reflect that this is the bid? Some of those signs, it's hard to see. Yes, exactly that's, but that's my feeling. Would it be a great, I think branding is important this time of the year. I think it's always important. But you don't have time to do all this, do you really? I, I have three of them already. I mean, I can yeah, send them out and you can... You can Vote for it, but you remember the ones that no. I, my, I'm more curious about I'm the cost. Curious. Unfortunately, we're at a problem time. Oh, okay. No, no, I don't mean I don't mean this kind of time. I mean yeah. We're, 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 oh yeah, right. We're here in the middle of September, talking about the signs that are going to go up uh, very quickly. When are they going uh, up? In terms of in November. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we have time between? And we have no meetings. Um, we can't. Do we have time to make a decision to to change? Well, they're saying spend can, 37 now, and then worry about it. Oh, but yeah, but yeah. they did. Why don't we put our efforts towards that for the next year? Next, year. but this year, I think. Uh, I'm John's perfectly, I'm perfectly okay about being shot down. But I fought that three years ago. I fought it last year, and I'm fighting it again this year. So well, then the question is, why put 3,700 more into it? <laughs> So you don't want any banners up? No, 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 absolutely we do. We, we don't want to lose those posts, and we're going to put yeah, those exactly. banners up. We're going to put those, we're okay. going to put banners up. But should we spend 37 now knowing that we're going to spend again next oh, year? Oh, yeah, I think, I think changing the sign. I, I, I think, think, changing I think the sign. branding is really important. So the brand should way, be big. Talking about branding, I don't see our sign up on the school yet. We don't. No. We took the money away. We we we're not a part of the school yeah. program anymore. They wouldn't give yeah. us a banner. We said, fine. Well, that's great. That's, <laughs> yeah. no, that's, mm -hmm. that's totally that fair. You can take yeah. the banner off. Um, okay. Do we have, is there any possibility of getting a price and getting new printed banners and at the same time getting a vote here before uh, getting a vote? I can send out what's already created and I'll make the phone call tomorrow. <clears throat> And but getting a vote on the this price. board and in time. I think the concern and is cost. how much of yeah, this thirty-seven hundred dollars is going to be thrown away right. yeah. in a short period of time. Right. Let's use the it money is. for yeah. the new ones. Right. If the new ones, I can get a. Oh yeah, I can get all that information. Thirty-seven hundred sure represents in, in the new run. But can yeah, we? Can right. it, excuse me. This Pardon me. But does all of that information give us enough time to vote on this and get them ordered? And no, you'll have to make a decision. Are we allowed to vote by email, or is that not part of that? You know, I'm, I don't know. What's I don't know. Issue? So I don't want to say yes or no. I'm afraid we backed ourselves into a time. It's going to be a fairly significant cost. 
based on 3700 to change the corner. Yeah, I think it was like, I should be like a ten grand. bundle of money. Ten grand. Well, well, I, I believe <laughs> memory serves it was somewhere, That's not we ten, start. but it was somewhere south here. of ten. No, it's like how much it was out, out, out of the new run. Well, if it's, if it's seven or eight thousand, the it's not worth putting 37 in that. If it's only seven or eight thousand, it's not worth that. Right. Not to throw them away. You guys are the deciding. So tell me what to do. Wow, that's a big decision. Well, you got to circulate the numbers the and the, to see if we have sufficient time. What if we put a motion not to exceed a certain price, and if it doesn't exceed, then we have a motion? I don't know that we can do that. No. Uh, well, however, I'd it. like to know if we can do a. You, you, you can do a motion up to. Well, that's acceptable. On this, you can do a motion up to. All right. If we can cap it. New? All right, let's 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 ask this question. How many of them are there? Fifty something. Fifty-four. Fifty-four times two. If we but you're only paid no, per no, poll. No. Per poll. Okay. But the signs are both sides. Yes. Yes. You aren't paying for both sides. No. Two signs. Hey, it's poll. a it's a one thing printed both sides. So it's actually 104, 152, 150, 54 polls. 50, no. It's thirty-seven hundred dollars. Printed on both sides, yeah. isn't it? And printed on it, both it, sides. Yeah, that's right. It's two. It's two panels. Printed on both sides. Two panels. The pole. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on both sides. I bought it's double sided. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> on both sides. Well, that's yeah. all. It's a, okay. Pay for both sides. All right. Let's let's do this. Um, personally, and and I'll accept this from from anybody. Uh, I agree that that if we're going to change it. To throw away 3,700 now, it's done. Yeah. However, if it is 12,000 or 15,000, that's equally yeah. dumb to, to make that change quick. Yeah. Uh, so I would say to spend the 37. But let's, if I can suggest somebody to make a uh, uh, make a proposal that we cap at somewhere around double to perhaps a little more, like. Seven thousand seventy-five hundred thousand in that range, and cap it. You have a time issue here. This is September. Yes, yeah. that's why it's it. November. Yes. these banners have to be produced yes. and put up. Yes, before. I'm I'm okay. suggesting the following: that we that we uh, that we approve a capped number to be determined. That if that if that if John can get these can made. Get at that under that under that ceiling, <clears throat> that he present us with some options, and we vote by phone. Are we allowed to do that? Is the question. I believe we are. I don't know. I can't say yes or no. I can certainly find out. I'm not. Sure. Well, if the answer is yes, then the, then the, then it's moved. Yeah. If the answer if the answer is no, then it's moved. So, do you have access to the designs right now? Yeah, I have them in my office. <clears throat> Could we see them right now? No. Could we maybe look and make a decision right now? Know. You tell me. If we have a motion here to vote for banners. Is this one of them? No, that was just something I threw together. I don't even know why you got that one. I mean, it's you, a big you decision. Sent it, to me. I, it was an accident. I was playing with lots of them. <laughs> but it's, it's five minutes for us to go see them. I can bring them. They're printed out already. Yes. All right. You want to take a, uh, a potty break for, for ten minutes? So you're resistant to go get them, John. You don't have to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're Dan and we're Dan 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 to find us. Why don't we? Why They're don't on we, my desk. Why don't we table this? Move on you to the one next. of the two yeah. trays. So we don't even take a break. Right? Yeah. So let's, let's, let's table this for the moment. Move on to the next item. Yeah. Or they're on my desktop computer, in which case I have to go print them out. If you can't physically find them on my desk, I may have just discarded well, the them. Are, are, on the computer, are, are we going to read? Are we going to come back to this issue before the end of the evening? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of it's a big deal. I mean, yes. those because if I'm way out of line on the price, which is yeah. fifteen twenty thousand, yes. throwing thirty-seven away yeah. is not um, really good. All right, let's table this for the moment and move to item twelve. That's the three-hour parking oh, banner that was done. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we're on thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We're coming back to the holiday. Yeah, sure yeah, we are. Um, the everybody has a copy of the management district plan. Mr. Assist can ask for it so that people would know what our primary mission is. I have a question. 
I don't think it's spelled out in ways about security. We're just getting too excited. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see security here yet? Yeah, here. I see it specifically. Well, Safety enhancements is a place I could buy. I didn't see it in my phone. Am I, am I missing something? No, I think it's here. I'm missing one page. Of yeah, you might be missing the page. Yeah. Well, it's uh, I'm missing. But everybody is missing the page. Yeah, I am too. Good catch. Mm -hmm. Good catch. Uh, which page are we missing? Yeah. The management what district one. Oh, the page. I saw it, and I've I've got it in my computer, but I don't have it in the package. Because it's not page number, right? No, sir. So. It's part of oh, it's under Streetscape and Capital Improvement. Yeah, it, yeah. It looks like it's just not in the same order as the, as the budget in the last page. I don't think we're, I don't think we're missing the page. No, we're not missing the page. It's on Streetscape and Capital Improvement. Streetscape. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, I do not want to lose it. I copied the where you see the Streetscape and capital improvements. It's in the paragraph. Yeah. You see hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars allocated for streetscape and capital improvement. And within that streetscape are our night patrols and day patrols for the district. Okay, and that's the one we're gonna get the page missing. No, you're not missing, sir. It's on the third page of this packet that you have. You can't find it? What, what, what do you guys look at? Darn it. Here, here it is. Oh, that is right the there. The, this, the way it should be. <laughs> that page two should be on the second no, page. page. Because if you look at page four, it starts off with landscaping, market, and treescape, which is the first four, first two pop items on the last page. Yeah. And then page two. Yeah, we don't have. Wait, I may not have sent it. You may have the wrong one. I gave, yeah. my, gave mine to yeah, my assistant. <laughs> but that's what it is. Yeah. Street, state, scape, and capital yeah, improvement, $158,472. We don't break it down any further. Is no, it? sir, it's there. Okay. Individual. Okay. And Project. we're still uh, not spending more than we're taking in? No, not, not at all. Okay. And so what's the estimated carryover from 2017? 245. I mean, what, what is it? Is that just money that wasn't spent last year? There, well, it, we had money that was reimbursed for two different projects. One was $57,000 that came in. It's on my computer. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hi. All right, are you in my office? <laughs> If you just click the space bar and turn it on, or just actually maybe you have to turn it on. I think I turned it off. Uh, it's on the right hand, turn my computer on. And it's on the right side in a, in a folder or a file that will say holiday banner. Okay, and you can open that up and print it. I uh, know it's not, it's open to anybody. Are you up? I heard it go on. <laughs> you heard the okay. ding ding. You heard the ding ding. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Ben. What, was I answering the question? Well, you were, uh, we were, I was just looking at our total assessment revenue for this year. Is 400 and 450, 399. And then we have a carryover from last year. Yes, sir. And, and the carryover money came from paybacks from the council office. We did a street festival that was, we were expecting to pay a little bit more and we didn't pay, but a third of that money. Oh, yeah, we got that back. We got shuttle money back that we had allocated 60 some thousand dollars for. But the 2019 budget will likely not include a carryover. Yes, it yes, will. We'll, we'll keep getting this carryover is, is ongoing? Well, it's not ongoing. After five have years, we have to no. spend it. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I was just... So part of that could be. You're not talking about that festival. Are, you, are, you, are we doing it again? No. That was Probably a very successful not. play. Thank you. It was. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. 
and really moved the community. It was. It was. I'm sorry, we couldn't do it this I year. Think, I couldn't do it this yeah. year. Yeah, I think. I think we. This is that is something that I think was going to be on the table, and we're going to be that talking was a ton about of work. for next year. It was a yeah. great deal of yeah. work, yeah. but it was very we should. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, do it. Dan, I, yeah, I really. One of the very few times I see people coming to the. It was crazy. Yeah, it was good. And moving, you know. Yeah. Well, Danielle. You went dancing that day. All right, can we can we move on with this one? Yes, we can. Okay, let's get back to this while uh, we're we'll taking out the, uh, the the pictures. Okay, well the other is the the signage, but I knew it wasn't going, to, so I just didn't bring it because I didn't think anybody no, no. would like it. No, uh, that's all right. You might be right. I'm sorry. Well, I mean it was. I'm I mean sorry. about the the, 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 the marketing banners. Yeah. The, well, that was the banners. that was part of C was the introduction of new banners. Okay. Um, but I didn't bring them because it, they were. this group was adamant about not changing this banner last year. I thought we were going to put table that into the banner. We, we are. did. We are. I'm just... Are we are 13 now. 13C. <laughs> yeah. Could I we ask you a question? Certainly. Do we have the price that we need to put three, three years ago? Do you have someone? No, not, not handy. No. Well, you have the Well, I'm sure we can climb it. Oh. You may be able to get that. It just well. mean it would be, we can make a radical assumption, it would be about the same. It's in an email, and he's not going to go through my email uh, to well, try and find it. Yeah. No, I meant what, what okay. expenditure, whatever year they were done in, that's on the expenditure. It's about three years ago, but he'd have to go dig through yeah. it. And it was before you started. Well, no, I don't know. He's calling again. Uh, 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 this is probably not going to work out. Probably. Yeah. Tell him. I keep, I throw it away every day. Except I keep them out because you never know when you need them. You could map. Open that folder. Open September board meeting. Tell them to pull the plug on it. Pull the plug. Yeah. On it. Pull the plug on it. I'll, yeah. I'll back oh, never mind, Dan. Never off. mind. I'll back Cancel off. it. I'll back off my issue. Close the I brought it up. Well, what are we going to do? Then? So we're going to go with those. I since I since I brought up the uh, since I brought it up as, as the only holdout to uh, to changing this thing. We're back to the thirty-seven. Yeah. Then yes, we are. Not. Yes, we are. Did you mention something? We have to spend our surplus in five years. They're letting us keep. We negotiated that last year for a five-year period. Oh, well, five years from yeah. last year. Yeah. But within five, we have to. We have to do some major capital improvements. Some new trash cans, man. What's some new, new trash, trash cans. cans. New trash cans. Yeah, right. Pretty nice ones. ones. But you, I'm sorry, as vice president, you're going to have one. Um, all right. Uh, forgive me for uh, for that uh, for taking that uh, that, that tandem run. Um, let's get back to the uh, the, uh, the proposition of the these lovely holiday banners and the thirty seven hundred dollars to fix them. I have a question. Is that a vote? Uh, Are we going to vote on that? Well, I, yeah. have, I have a question. Is once the holiday season is over, do we no longer can reserve those posts? Yes, we have. Oh, yes. So I put applications in for more posts. So we could do this in January or something. You can do it every oh, year. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have to make this decision for but the But I can't give you the number season. of posts yet you until they're finished. Yeah. So I'm thinking I would propose leave them alone. That doesn't that doesn't brand us. No. We're coming into a renewal. Nobody yeah. knows. But it's at January. But, but January is when the, the petitions go out. You want to brand during the holiday period when traffic is high and people see who we are. You can't change the band, but you can brand them now. Yeah, but it's 3700 bucks. Yeah, it's 30, no, we have $3,700. That's we, It's nothing to this budget. I, su we, I suggest we, we do it. The branding be done. Well, the branding, branding difference. Difference. So, so there are banners today. Yes, sir. Uh, and they just, they look like image number one. Oh, they look like, yes. Image yeah, number yeah. One. And we're talking about spending the money to make them look like image number two. Yes, sir. Exactly. And Funny. just, I mean, from my one person's perspective, I wouldn't know the difference. That was my point. If you were driving by, I wouldn't know the difference. Can small. you tell us that? But I, I did this. You, you, it will be much more vivid than this. But again, it's. And if this like background is all white and this logo is in a white background, it will pop and you'll see it. And that's done as an overlay? I mean, it's it's my work. I mean, this is my work. No, no but you know, the vinyl, I'm talking about the, the actual vinyl. vinyl. They're just gonna lay it on top and do that SCBD or right. so that's the third I'm kind of with yeah. Ben's sort of. Like, I, hey, so much I'm not arguing the issue. Yeah, I'm right. presenting yeah, it again, I mean, and I ran into this last year. We're like, okay. I'm just, it's not my ballgame. No, it's okay. If there's controversy about you know somebody used the 
logo from a theater which is no longer there and that becomes a big you know news item i think that's probably good no, this is the, wouldn't that be nice this is it what you would have if you, you had your option no we, no 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 that's uh, a, no no i'm i'm, I'm talking yeah. about for the branding in general I like the big emotion. You have to you want the let's trade let's, market. Let's we, the, on, yeah, the brand branding. market we use on all on both sides. Yes, pull. Yeah. Put, put that in the put that in the form of a motion to the table, please. Here's my form of a motion. What? Then say it again. I feel we should we should vote on the branding as presented by John of these. Uh, as a, in other words, to to spend to money. spend the money to change the, the branding. Thirty-seven hundred dollars to spend the thirty-seven. Okay. Is there a second? Is there a second to that motion? <laughs> Hearing none. <laughs> Hearing none. Is there, an, is there another motion to that? that I, I don't hear? believe it. <laughs> Do I hear another motion? Uh, let me see if I can make this motion correctly. I would make a motion that we not spend the money to modify. You don't need a motion for that. We don't. Nothing. No action on okay, this. Then I make a motion that we. We move on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're, make a motion that we commend John Walker because <laughs> it's these are it's the banners are I mean it's a phenomenal marketing tool and something we should continue to focus on but this doesn't seem it, when my my personal opinion is it doesn't the spend of the money doesn't move the needle. I I'd no, like, no, I'd like, like not a motion, not but, like the motion. Like, but a request that like Mark said January February. Get a designer, compare yours to any others, yeah. make a decision on what they're going to look like, get a budget, get some bids, <coughs> and some apply that 3700 towards I completely agree. And do yeah. them right. That's now, this was, you're not sure how this one came about. Yes, I do. That's partly, that that's partly the, the, uh, the thing that's stuck that's in my craw. to do a group <laughs> thing. So I think we could come up with something really appropriate. Well, all this amounts to is a modification. But the problem is the timing. We come up for renewal, and we do have to advertise the bid. But we one thing about out. traffic during the holidays and traffic during regular, in my estimation, does not appear to be any different. It's not a question of traffic. It's well, question. they're saying they want to get it up the while there's lots the of people. The visibility of the bid's logo, well, advising people that this is what the bid. People don't even know what the bid does. Agree. And and we don't make any effort to show what the bid does. Or the but we should brand bids. everything we do. Yes. Everything we do. But can we wait from community. either November or starting I, January? I, as far as re redesigning the, the the logo, I don't like the logo anyway. Yeah. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not in love so with we're throwing it. So I think money we should after redesign bad. it, have 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 a competition for the new Whatever logo, and then make a decision based on. But that's the future. The problem is the immediacy of advising people the bid is And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to recreate this picture. It just like feels it's like it's throwing away 3700 bucks. The other the alternative is what if, if we had thirty seven hundred dollars to spend on right. promoting so the bid alternative then would there be a more effective alternative? All right. I we uh, we had we didn't have a motion on the table, uh, the problem you can't. I Let's move on. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so that's a no go. It's a no go. We 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 order the uh, we, we 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 put the blasters back up on the back up on the pole. Give a little more credit to Alfredo's question. Is is it important in the renewal process to have more visibility? And is I not in favor of it necessarily, but is this an appropriate and effective way to get that visibility? Or or not. Or doing things for or them. something else. Community. Community. But you don't have time for something else. Well, before mm -hmm. December, we don't. Bunch but, of posters but in the window. Do you have no? Well, I mean, before December? Yeah, yeah, we don't. In that. November, we have another meeting. Right. But you by don't then, have a lot of time to create something, yeah. produce it, and get it out. We should be doing this starting this in is January. I, I'm sorry if it's, it's such a, it's coming to us. At this yes, point Peter. In time, this How is long is the turn time? To get these things printed. I don't know. You're talking about manufacturing new ones? I don't know. I mean, that's the key question there. You could get a logo redone on all this in three days. I promise you that. You could. So we this could is true. Our, our, problem, our problem, Peter, is not, is not turnaround because you're absolutely right. We can get it done. The problem is a logistic one and a legal one about getting the approval done with our board. And right. So if we're in November, when's our meeting in November? Uh, so yeah, fifth, fifth, fifth. Okay, so we could vote on it, approve, get it turned in November. 
get these things printed, the key is figuring out the turn time, right? If we want them up for Black Friday, we still got two weeks, two plus weeks. When's the, when's the uh, mounting date? On the pole? Oh, the day before Black Friday. Which the day before the 24th, whatever that is. What is it? You can start you have that thing, whatever, the, whatever your yeah. dates are on that. We can have a meeting at our next, at the next Here. meeting. Yeah. There's a design, there's that's a budget. Good. No, that's, now, well, that's but great. But when they go up on the pole. Everything goes up at the same time. It takes a long time to get the board to agree on just a design. Okay. They want to really improve. That's when it's up, so it goes up on the 20th. That was kind of, I understand that. <coughs> it was also sort of a little bit. It was about five or six conveyor, sushi conveyors there. <laughs> well, I mean, at least we get the process going. If we don't make right. it on the next one, we don't make it on the next point one. Point well so taken, Peter. Yeah, point well, well taken. Could we put this on the agenda then for the fifth? Yes. <laughs> A good idea. We don't need a motion for that. Because, no, let's just yeah. put it on the agenda. Banners. Yeah, banners, decision, design and decision on the fifth. Thank you, Peter. I, and execution. I can be turned should around? Should I, I don't know. I have to, I can't, I have to make this call. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> well, John, in the meantime, I think put it right on the agenda. You find yes, sir, I'll put it on the it. agenda. Okay. Go yeah. I think you're right. They go, those guys go fast. Probably We're the not the only client that can't run. Well, yeah. yeah. it's, it's no, if it can, it can. It's on the agenda. Yeah. We'll find yes. out. Exactly. That's what's so going to Reasonable. Issue. Thank you, Peter. Maybe that could be the only issue. That in Turkey. Could those designs be part of the agenda that's used in advance? Sure, I'll bring all of them. So people that would be able to see We'll circulate it. We'll circulate it. And by the way, by the way, he'll have some rough numbers, so we can say, forget about it, yeah. or move forward. <laughs> do we have to allocate funds that he could hire a no, design no. person? No, he's going to yeah. do it. It's just going to, you're going to do it. And these, uh, these aren't these are challenging things. These are off the shelf, almost, they're almost, they're off the shelf stuff. I mean, if there's some talent at it, I'm not that you're not hey, talented. Hey, hey. <laughs> But I mean, somebody with design like hey, was I'm an Emmy winner for crying out loud. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm supposed to be on the red carpet right now. Oh boy, I'm teetering the show right now. Excuse me, that has been. Okay, you're right. You're really good good the 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 All right, Let's I don't think anything this board does works. All right, moving on. Thank you. Good point. Um, comments? Anybody? Any comments? Not on the yeah, agenda? How are you doing that? We're lovely so number 14. We're moving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> any, anybody? Good and welfare. Anything to add that's not on the agenda? Other than the fact that the board does an amazing job. And the, and the money is, <laughs> boy, is absolutely spent. As a vice president, you're now starting to pat yourself on the back. <laughs> I would like to, uh, to hear a uh, proposal for adjournment. I, I'll make that proposal. Thank you. I'll see. And one more thing. Yes, John. sir. And John, this was one of the longer meetings that we've had, and there was no food. The president doesn't want food. What? Oh, you're blaming it on hey. me? I am. I'm, you gave the order. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I did. <laughs> Apparently, I did, because I, I thought we were going to be out of here. We don't have uh, uh, Gentlemen. I would ask uh, our guests to depart. We're going to go into executive session.